Hello and welcome to the Putra Stadium here in Kuala Lumpur for semi-finals day at the leaning BWF Sudaman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships. Tonight, it's China, the defending champions against Denmark. Of course, we've already played one semi-final. Korea was already through to the final, but Denmark had a whitewash in their quarter-final on Thursday against Chinese Taipei. What a different story for China against Indonesia. It all came down to the women's doubles, the fifth and final match, and China scraped through. So, of course, tonight's match, China against Denmark. Well, two years ago, this was the final. This year, of course, it is semi-final stage, and what a lineup we've got. China, three Olympic champions in three disciplines are on display tonight. The first of them in the mixed doubles, of course, men's doubles Olympic champions as well, and for good measure, women's singles. Now, of course, at this semi-final stage, once three matches have been won, no dead matches are contested. So, as if it goes to a fifth one as it did in the quarter-final, once again, Wang Xiao Li and Yu Yang will be expected to deliver for the defending champions. But they need to get off to a good start, China, who of course are the most successful team in the history of this competition. The world and Olympic champions, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, up against the Olympic bronze medalists, Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Peterson. Well, of course, with such a strong Chinese team, three gold medalists, they've got world championship gold medalists as well, and all England champions, it does seem as if it's a tall order. Well, I'm Jill Clark, and I'm delighted to say that once again, I'm joined by the former world and number one, Morton Frost, and Morton, I know that the Danish team will realize it's a tall order, but you and I have discussed this, I can see a possibility of course china are very strong in the women's singles and the women's doubles so this mixed doubles they have to win denmark if they want to extend it have got to win this mixed doubles you're so right and it, it all comes down uh, to the first three matches because uh, we have to be very honest and say that china is not only the favorite they're super favorites in the last two yeah well china are of course appearing in their 13th consecutive semi-final and this is the 13th staging of the Sudaman Cup which of course means that every time this competition has been played China has reached at least the semi-final in fact they have been eight times champions they've contested the final for the last nine occasions that is some record well for the Danes, they've been in great form so far. But let's start with the World and Olympic Champions. Only selected for the first match in this Sudaman Cup campaign. That was on Sunday against India. They duly won in two straight games in 29 minutes. And you can see their win-loss record for the year. Three tournaments and three finals, winning one of them. Now that's pretty good. It makes me wonder why on earth they're at number three in the world rankings because of course they have been world number ones but the simple answer to that is of course that the rankings are done over a 12 month period so whilst they've been the pair very much in form of 2013 over the 12 month period they had a little time where they split up after the olympic games played with different partners so to the danes and the left-handed 34 year old Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen, who turned 27 earlier this month, and they have a wonderful record so far in this tournament. Played all three matches, the two in the group, and of course Thursday's quarter-final against Taipei, and they won all of their matches. Uh, so did go to three games against Japan's Hashimoto and Maeda. So this, the 12th meeting between these two pairs, and that might surprise a few people. In fact, the Danes have the better record over the 11 previous matches. In fact, 
They won the four, first four encounters, but the last time they met was in the semi-final of the Korean Super Series event, the first Super Series event of 2013. And as you can see, well, it was rather dark. It second game. <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> Only three <laughs> points scored in that second game. I there remember must, must watching that. <laughs> yeah. There must be reasons for that. So our umpire, Michaela Benkova of the Czech Republic and Mark Spate of Germany is the service judge. Yeah, I, I do remember that match. And they really put in so much effort in the first game and absolutely nothing went right in the second game. It's still, the amazing. it's still amazing. They've only got three points when yeah. you consider how good they are. Yeah, exactly. Because they are current world number fours. Did spend 53 weeks at number three in the world. Oh, the Danish teammates. Well. All coloured up. Yep. It's always a lovely thing with the Danish team. They all paint their faces and wear funny hats and <laughs> cheer each other on. It's wonderful to see the team spirit. So the final preparations before this crucial first match in the semi-final tie. Just to remind you, if you weren't with us earlier, Korea beat Thailand 3-1 in the first of the semi-finals. So the world and Olympic champions, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei, for China, up against the Danes, Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. Well, the fact that the world and Olympic champions didn't get selected against either Indonesia in the group stage or Indonesia in the quarter final, China preferring to go with Chen Zhu and Margin. Margin, yes. And of course, Xu and Margin lost in the quarterfinal to Kantori Akhard and Liliana Natsia, and that's perhaps why this pair have been selected, or would you I select them anyway against the Danes? No, no, I, I agree. They uh, did not perform to expectations against Indonesia, Play. and uh, they've gone with another pair, and I think that's only fair. They have such depth in their team. Yeah, Olympic gold and silver medalists to choose from in the mixed doubles. Oh, good play by the Danes. Service over, one, two. Yeah, I think a huge battle in this match is going to be who of the two women can really dominate the front of the court. Both excellent front court players. And the defence of Christina Peterson. Yeah, perhaps the weakness. Yes. But if she plays well at the net, she doesn't have to defend too much. some delay into that shot. And of course, Joe Yunlei, the first badminton player ever to win two Olympic gold Bolt. medals at the there same Olympics. Bolt called. Struck above the waist, says Mark Spates. 
Service over to Paul. No. You ask me, most of the serves are above the waist, but then I'm not a service judge. And we will have no plan. <laughs> <laughs> Over five, two. So far, the Chinese pair has been dominant. They have got most of the attacks. And the Danes are slightly struggling here. They have to get off the marks. Yeah, well, the battle quite obvious. The two women on courts are driving the shovel back to each other and then eventually Six, it was Peterson who was pushed back into the defensive play look she's back to the mid-court area and even further yeah but the Danes have to make use of the fact that they play against the drift and they can make use of the baseline I know we said it so many times before but but they have to make these fast attacking lifts and, and play it over the Chinese and make sure they use that baseline rather than go into these flat exchanges the whole time. So make use of the best uh, baseline. Play some clears, even, you know, fast lifts and all that. Use it. Offset the formation. Service over, three, six. Oh, the luck of the net courts for yeah. Peterson. Well, I've been watching Zhang Nan and Zhao Yun Lei for some time now, and I thought in recent Eight, tournaments three. they've just been lacking something. There's certainly been nothing lacking so far in this encounter. They look more fired up than I've seen since the Olympic Games. Mm. Well, that's rather ominous for you Danes. <laughs> Morton, but yeah. it's just ne neutrals. Yes, it's yes. very good to see. I try my best. Service over four eight. Why my heart is beating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's allowed. <laughs> no, no doubt the Chinese pair has been best so far. And also that's transformed into into the scores, there's no no doubt about it. It concerns me a little bit how eight. easily he um, disposes of uh, the possibility for Christina to really intercept. You know, he's just standing there waiting where she's going and he puts this opposite. It's very easy and that's quite disturbing for me to watch. That's gone wrong. But there was a couple of times in that rally that he just steered the shuttle away from mm. where she was. Exactly, and Six, it's, it's, it seems to be too easy to me. So what does she have to do to counteract that? Obviously, there have to be more pressure on him, so he's got to react a little bit more in instinct. He, he can wait too long and see, okay, where is she moving, and then just place it opposite. Oh. Assisted uh, by the net board. Nine six. Nine. 
time. Well, in a way, it's amazing that the scores are, are so close, just two points in it, because to me, so far, Chinese pair have been playing by far the better. See, that was a good one. So Joachim should just be happy to lift it by lift it straight to himself. He's playing it from a too low position there, trying to see if he can sneak it uh, past the, the Chinese girl, but obviously not possible. She's just too sharp. Cross court, so the smash goes straight on Peterson. Yeah, and then he was shouting, I got the middle, but uh, that was not really enough, was it? No. And there's certainly been more attacking play in the world than Olympic champions. Eleven seven lead in the opening game. And and of course, uh, the bigger of the two coaches, twice Olympic champion. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. So Lars Ua, the head coach to the Danish team, did you manage to catch anything he was saying there? Yeah, it was actually Joachim saying it, and he was saying exactly what I'm saying. We have to play these fast lifts. We have to use, make use of the baseline. Eleven but seven. on Sal, on, on the lady, not on him. opportunity desperation defense from the Chinese pair 13-7 a good start for the Chinese two points on the last four for the Danes 16, here. Seven. I don't think uh, Christina has got almost uh. one back in her defense. Every single time the Chinese are getting on the attack and directed it towards her. Service and over. Gets it down. Yeah. Well, the run of points comes to an Eight, end. That has six straight points. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, no, no, I points for us, but psych psychologically it's devastating w w one moment you're nine seven there's only two points in it mm. and then you feel you've got a mountain to climb yeah. oh, good she got one there two that's good that's fair oh, luck. It's just long. a better rally Service over 16-8. Oh. 
pair doing so well in that rally. They were under enormous pressure. But able to turn their defensive eight. play into attack. And look how quickly forward Feng Nan was. Yeah. Yeah, the Danes have to try to crawl back a bit, get some confidence, get some points, see if they can possibly get to 13, 14, perhaps even 15, get a good run of, uh, of points and, uh, and s see if they can catch off a little bit for, for a good start for the second set. Judgment from York and Fisher. It's well controlled by uh, Xiang Nan. Very good clear. Yeah. Oh. Close. Yeah, caught the outside edge of the line, so it's a good call by the line judge. positive call and it was going to go long. 1119. Play on. Play. Play. Yeah, I said play on. Hmm. Did he want to change the shuffle? I think so. Well, it's normal that if the player about to serve wants to change the shuffle, it's usually allowed. They've got on the wrong foot of the umpire here. There is a small dispute in the early stages of the circus. Well, 19. Or maybe they had some history together. Mm. You know, they play tournaments around the world, and obviously lots of umpires are following the circuit as well. They were criticising a little bit earlier on in the week about the Fisher Nielsen serve. And over at times he's lost a bit of. Well, look, <laughs> now Jang Nan wants the shuffle changed. Both mm. pairs have asked for this one shuffle to be changed. The umpire mm. says no. no. Two come game Service points. Over 20, game point 13. Seven of them. Service over. Finally, the umpire allows the players to change the shuffle. Mm. Actually, the serve was struck. 
points from the point anyway. 15-20. So this is much better for the Danes. As I said, even if they could get to 15 would be good. And now they are at 15, I think that's pretty good. and it means that the World Olympic champions Nat and Lai take the opening game and the third game points 21-15 18 minutes of play for game number one and it wasn't until the latter stages that the Danes really got into their stride and to hope the level of play we've seen right at the end of this game continues at the start of the second there confirmation and score 21 15. coaches able to give their players instruction mm. hungry players on the Danish bench second game love all play so the umpire calls for the start of the second game Morton I don't know whether you were able to hear anything that Lars Ula was saying to the Danish pair in that interval. Did you get anything? Yeah, they, they all three agreed on the fact that as soon as the first possible chance to block it to the net, they must make use of it. And then Christina One have block. to run whatever it takes in and cover. So hopefully we'll see a lot of blocks now. Chinese are really playing well around the service situation, serving very well themselves and also receiving when they were the Danes are serving. So it's a very difficult situation the Danes are in at the moment. China is playing very well. Wow. 
Push it, stop, yeah. Stop. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, they desperately, desperately needed that point, did the Danes. That the first five one points five. of the second game going to China. Absolutely imperative that the Danes keep it tight all the way. Chinese pair are such good front runners. They thrive on more and more confidence as they build their lead. Fault receiver. Oh, fault receiver. Two, five. Now, you're allowed to bend your knees. You mustn't move your feet before the serve is struck. Well, what the Chinese are saying is that it's Christina, yeah, what she tends to do is take a service back. She waits for a moment and then takes it forward. Now, the rules of badminton states that it's the first forward motion of starts the racket the starts the serve. So as long as it's not a double action after you've used your first forward motion, mm, this is all getting a bit tense and Christine. umpire needs to calm things Chiao, down Chiao, play play <laughs> well, that's psychology for you <laughs> yeah Well, she's disappointed with herself there, Chow Yun Lei. Understandable. Service over, four, six. But much better from the Danes now. Getting something back, getting the rallies going, get some attack. It's much better. But whether they can manage to keep it up, it's another thing. Play the perfect four. serve, especially when serving to Jiang Nan. But he has lost, there's no doubt about it, lost a bit of confidence on that low serve. Oh, my goodness, in each other's way. Beautiful, beautiful play from Zhao Yunlei. Yeah. Such pressure. The pace is so great. Eight, four. Good defending, good defending again. Joachim was a little bit too late to, to see that Christina was running forwards in that one. And he was committing himself forwards as well. 
great awareness by Zhao Yunlei. And the Chinese have opened up a four-point cushion. Make that five-point cushion. And this is very, very Nine, worrying four. times if you're a Danish fan. Well, it won't be for lack of effort from Joachim Fischer. But the second one here, look at that. That was really good. Yeah, I have to question, so, Morton, the lift across court from Joachim Fischer. Just too short, or flat, or too flat, or... Well, the fact that he's... It's quite obvious for Zhang Nan then to smash straight on Christina Pedersen. It is, it is, but he's still trying to move him. Yeah. That was so over. So Christina really has to get into Five, the groove ten. here. She's the best server of the two, and she's got to serve at least three. Long. A little look from Zhang Nan towards the umpire. He wasn't convinced by the call. Six, ten. I think it's out. Yeah, I think it's out as well. Yeah, it's oh, clearly out. Oh, a bit of kidology from Zhang Nan. Well there. I was just saying before seven, that ten. Christina has not really been into the backhand side Quickly. of her game Quickly. and the net. It's been far too easy just to play the return into her backhand side and she would have no way of getting it. And then I was just about saying here and then on the next one she did it, which was uh, really good. Yeah. Very, very good. She's got to start to cover that backhand as well. She's too committed to the forehand. Yeah, a fair bit of unrest in the crowd because Zhao Yunlei is... At the hairdressers. ...redoing her, her hair. And, of course, when we're potentially just one point away from the mid-game interval. Well, fans in the crowd. See you again. Again. Oh, that is so good. From Zhao Yunlei. Yeah. She is in total control of the net. She's playing very well. Look at the effort from Fisher Nielsen. advantage when you're playing against world and olympic champions 20 seconds 20 seconds see. Oh, Thank you, to climb. but of course we mustn't forget that fisher nelson and peterson Thank you. 
So they've got their 811. 811. Yeah, she's human after all. Oh, 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 service fault called. It doesn't make it any easier. Sometimes I really don't understand why the players even bother to ask. No. You know. There's a clear signal given by the service judge of what the fault was called for. And, you know, it, they will just get the same answer. And, uh, you know, it's just yeah. getting them nowhere. Yeah. You can't change it. Done is done, called is called. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm, very, very nicely played. Mm, it was clearly in. Look, look at the uh, arm movement of Zhao Yun Lei as the shuttle was dropping. I'm surprised the umpire didn't actually spot that. Yep. Players quick. Quick. Uh, players shouldn't be trying to influence mm. line judges. No. She was trying her, her best on that one. Yeah, so far, whatever they discussed in the breaks, that they should play more blocks, uh, Joachim has not really been able to do it. He is still driving as hard as he can. sort of look about York and Fisher after that rally, after that era. And just senses the Danes, if they want to come back in this mixed doubles, they have to win this next point. This five point difference, if it's extended, I think could be curtains for the Danes. I tend to agree with you. It's a long way up here. 15, the Janis simply play faster, safer, harder in all aspects of the game today. All credit to them. smash just a, I wouldn't say a half nine. smash but it was not a hundred percent that's for sure much more going for going for the angle and the steepness of it right in front of the feet good serve that's good defence. Oh, my goodness, come off the frame of the racket. Oh. 
Uh, well, the call from York and Fisher to his partner, get in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fun then. <laughs> Four wins. <laughs> Faulted the last time he served. He's sure, surely going to serve it also. He will not flick it again. Oh, that's so clever. She's got such spatial awareness or peripheral vision. She seems to instinctively know exactly where to place the shuttle. Absolutely spot on again. Look at that. Aim towards the left hip. Mm. Yeah, cannot be done better. Oh. Now, this has been a first class performance by the World Olympic Champions. Eight point advantage and just three more points required to get trying up the start they so desperately wanted. So now we need to see what we saw in the men's doubles last night when uh, Holland and Scotland played. Where was, uh, 14 straight points. <laughs> Holland won 14 straight points. It's I've never seen anything like it. That's what the Danes need now. Well, they only need 10. Take this second game. Plus a good start. Yeah. So close and yet so far. At the top of the tape, pull back the Danish side. to the flat pass push and the Chinese just too good look how quick Jan was on his reaction both. it's match point opportunities for China and only eight only eight of them one 21-12 the second game and Jang Nan and Zhao Yun Lei's display today well nigh on perfect I have to say I thought they were both so sharp and so positive right from the onset of the match and quite frankly Zhao Yun Lei has shown us today exactly why she won two Olympic gold medals last year in London. She was brilliant. Their confirmation of the score, 21-15, 21-12, in a match lasting 42 minutes. And China are one love up in this semi-final tie. <laughs> 